What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me as I break down this Zatima season three trailer. I believe you got a little Zach coming. <laughs> what if it's a girl? It should be called Zatima. Pause oh. it. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so just a quick little nothing. Um, if I recall, Zatima really had issues with having another baby in the house. So I'm just nervous that Fatima getting pregnant, how is it going to pan out? They're already stretched thin money-wise, even though Bryce, I guess Bryce got Zach's money back, but I'm still nervous. Okay, how does Preston fit in as a main cast member on Zatima? I love his character. However, when did him and Zach become close friends? Who is he tied to on Zatima? I don't know. Just a thought. What about Zakisha? <laughs> Definitely not that. Zakisha, no! No. Stop! It's gonna be you. <laughs> Are you not in a good place? Between my mother and him? I told you not to invest. You took my money anyway. Pause it. Okay, so finally. We, we pointed out the elephant in the room, Zach and Bryce. They're finally squashing this beef. I, I thought it was resolved already, but Zach, Zach is, I guess, expressing his disappointment. He is expressing how upset he was. I think Bryce did fix the issue, but this was a conversation that it's been needed, and I'm glad it's happening. Get it out of the way. Money. Hell no. Hey, Vanilla. You hear oh, it? I get it really growl for you. Okay, so how do we feel about Deja and Preston? And better yet, should Danny feel some kind of way about these two getting together? Okay, so on one side, Danny shouldn't be upset or feel some kind of way she's moved on. But at the same time, this is a circle. You know, Danny, Danny knows Zach. And I, I just feel it's a bit messy. It's a bit it's a bit messy that he would pursue Deja. And this is just a preview. I don't I don't know if it's gonna be anything with the two of them. Maybe he's just entertaining her, but I think he should back off. And that should be that. Miss Gladys had an insurance policy. Twenty five thousand dollars. Pause it. Okay, insurance money, insurance policy. I think that's what that is. Um, I think the question was, why does Connie have it and how did she get it? I'm just going to go off on a limb and assume that Connie is close to the family. She, you know, she was close with Jeremiah. She actually lived in the neighborhood. So I'm going to say it makes sense, but not really. But, uh, yeah, I didn't didn't even know she had an insurance policy. But uh, Connie is the one who's around that family. So I'm going to say that makes sense. Not sure why she's coming to Fatima with it, but hey. The money is mine. Jeremiah, you are high. Look, I don't like this. No, it's the money. Oh, Fatima. You know, just like last time, Fatima needs to realize that that family is crazy and she needs to stay out of it. And I don't know too much because this is just a clip, but whatever paperwork that she got from Connie, she should have zipped her lips and gave it straight to Zach. Or maybe just say, listen, I don't want to get involved in this, you know, because Jeremiah, he's a loose cannon. That's just my thoughts. If a man hit my girl, nobody tell me, bro, we got a problem. Zach's gonna find out. Look at your head. I'm gonna ask you. Um, you know, this this part of this clip was interesting because I remember same scenario, diff different show when uh Fatima got knocked down by Gary's security and not much you know, I mean, Zach had an opportunity to beat Gary's butt, but he didn't even want to go to the wedding or the venue to meet 
Gary to fight him, if if I recall. So it's just funny to see how uh, Zach's getting all gassed up and amped up because somebody put his hands on his woman because it's his brother. You know, I, I feel like Zach, you know, Zach's not a scary person, but I don't know. I just feel like certain, certain times, either bad, I'm just going to call it bad writing, that he gets amped up for certain people. Jeremiah is a, a, a cokehead. You know, it's easy to beat him up <laughs> on your family. Just one time. Did my brother hit you? You know he has a problem. I don't care. He's going to have a bigger problem when I get my hands on him. Zach has a record. And if he does something stupid, he could go to jail for life. Where's Jeremiah? If this is the way you want to live, then do it without me. Okay, I know this is just a clip and it, and it does not frame Fatima in the correct lighting, but it just always seems that Fatima is running away. Here we go. Once again, even in this little clip, the, the, the things are getting too tough. I'm going to walk out the door. This, this is too much for me. I'm going to walk out the door, even though I'm pregnant. And, and, and Fatima needs to realize she, she's got a good thing going on right now. You know, a house, somebody that seems to really like her, and she's shooting herself in the foot again, shooting herself in the foot. You know, we all got a past. Fatima needs to realize everybody has a, a past. Everybody has issues and problems. She she has issues, plenty of them. But running is not the solution. And once again, this is just a clip. I don't know exactly what happened to make her walk out. Uh, hopefully it makes sense, but... Right now, she's walking out once again, and it's getting tired. It's getting tired seeing her Zach, walk out. I mean it. That's it. It's this or us. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can always find my videos. Just search on Google or any or web browser. Just, uh Perry Necessary, and our videos will pop up. Me and Sir Daryl, we're going to be uh, streaming live on YouTube more often. Um, we're coming out with a brand new um, X <laughs> website, and I hope you join us. Hope you have a blessed day. Later.